friends, welcome to Angel Whispers. Vanessa here speaking and today we have another reading and this is about the Twin Flame Collective and this is not gonna resonate for the whole year whatever. This will only good for February 2021. Okay, um, but if you felt drawn to watch this during the time that it's not the set time or months or year, then could be this is a time for you to see <laughs> all right so this is just gonna give us an update what's gonna happen to the collective of the twin flamers since there's a distort in heaven okay now let's begin first with the collective reading so let's see what's going on with the collective of the twin flamers okay <laughs> All right, angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know about the Twin Flame journey on February 2021. Please show to us the overall theme of this reading. Thank you. I feel like most people that did wrong in this connection do have an epiphany hard awakening process especially if in the beginning they distort their person or they are the cause of chaos and conflict in this twin flame journey and i do feel like they have been punished for whatever that they have caused and i feel like the other party who is wounded in the situation decided to move on and choose their own path whether or not this will be with their twin flame or with somebody or will they choose to be single really it's up to the collective right but the one who created a misfortune they must accept the fact that they cannot have their person especially if they really wounded their person so badly now we'll check with your cards what it has to say Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's going on with the Twin Flame journey on February 2021. Yeah, it's Valentine's season. The angels say on that said month and obviously I'm not yet changing my cover here. So let's check what else we have. Karma hit the person who betrayed this connection. If ever they try to refuse it, then and didn't change for the best. Obviously, they can't have this connection. They just keep on repeating the same message. Please forgive. I just respect my guides. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards. So we may know about the Twin Flame journey on February 2021. One more. So anyway, I sense that some of them has a serious commitment issues. And that's why it didn't work out. And that is the one thing that whomever created a conflict need to work out so they accidentally hurt their masculine or feminine by not being committed or by choosing the wrong person here and this person do want to reconcile with their person so anyway this is the overall energy and what is the outcome they turn it in either way so i accept it like that so let's see we will clarify i feel like most people here whom are cheated on lied to are tired of that games and the drama of disconnection that's why they decided to walk away some of them decided to be single for the rest of their life because they're drastically hurt by their twin flame angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here this help us clarify so we may be able to understand another so yeah someone here in the connection obviously is upset because my hand really does hurt
And one of the twin flame is experiencing terrible karma. Especially if they betray their partner. Some of them, they are striking their finances. They don't have any material wealth. I feel like they used to brag their money, but now they can't. I feel like the divine is paining whomever this is. So that they will be balanced with their twin flame. And the reason why um, some of them could have hurt their twin flame is because they could be somebody who is in power or who has the money, you know, um, to the point that they didn't choose their twin flame and chose someone else that can be. So anyway, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So in the Twin Flame Collective, yeah, somebody has to lose their, I feel like for some mind. Okay, could be they lose their mind, they lose their money or their business and now they are in this one. So they could be rich before and now they are poor because their pride gets the best of them. And I feel like if ever they cheated, they lied. Their karmic partner really took a lot of money from them or energy from them. And while some of them are really affected, not only financially, but they will experience mental health issue. And with this stand of swords in reverse, so whomever that they hurt, like their partner, their twin flame, you know, this pain will be removed from the person that they betrayed, that they cheated on, lied to. Um, the person who cheated, obviously, they created this chaos and conflict or separation in this connection. And I do feel here that the person that they hurt really don't want to reconcile. First of all, because they lied and they cheat. So there's no way that this person will accept them back, okay? I feel like there's box. Sorry, guys. I feel also that there's backstabbing that happened in this connection. And there's a hate here. That's also what I get. And my throat chakra really hurt. So if ever one of the parties is angry, obviously, there's no communication and there's no reunion. And the heaven is not wanting both parties to call collide <laughs> that's why their soul chakra is blocked from talking to each other but most of them can't run away from the connection and the other one obviously who is involved in a third party they are not anymore they're now single but they cannot move on from their twin flame because their twin flame show them what true love is okay and it's a passionate connection that they can't deny and they do really want to make this connection work even if the other party don't want to and then the next thing is this three of ones so the one that got hurt okay i do feel here that this person is just focused on work obviously and the other one obviously didn't have the money because all that they did is to focus on their karmic that is not even working and yeah this is a passionate connection could be their karmic is pretty or handsome you know and this person is very dominant over them um, using them for money purpose and I feel they have been stuck for a certain period of time with this person and back in a day you know they're earning much money and they attracted this person because this person thought that you know this guy or girl can offer them the money so what happened is that yeah they managed to be together but yet in the end what happened is that this person realized now how foolish he or she was to give all the money to the wrong person. And I feel like now this has shifted. I feel like the person who offered a lot of money to the karmic is crying right now because they work very hard for the money and they didn't experience to be happy without um, the money so I feel like they got traumatized with that kind of experience 
That's the reason why some of them could have decided to move on and be single forever because this is a traumatic experience, like their karmic just steal their money and they just start to realize that if ever they have the money on their own, they will experience the joy and, and have fun with their money. So I feel like that is a rough awakening for the twin who chose somebody else. But they cannot move on from their twin flame, um, to be honest. Because I feel that this person really realized how important their twin flame is. Because during the nostalgic period of them being single after they got hurt from their karmic, obviously, I feel like... They're losing hope in finding the right partner and all that they think about is their twin flame. Is the star the one that they should marry but yet they deny the connection in the first place. And there's really a blockage here for them to come back to their twin. And the blockage here basically is if the other person is not really receptive for the reunion or for the stories, right? But reunion will only happen if, you know, both parties are receptive to it. And I do feel here that whomever is a cheater here is not um, in a good position due to the fact that they're trying to build up their finances because their karmic got their money and they got weak. And I feel like it will take some time for them to move on from what happened to them and the karmic it's really a traumatic experience for them and but with their twin flame you know they can't move on because you guys are attached to each other whether you like it or not then the next is the six of pentacles river so i do believe here that some of the twin flames since they got cheated on lied to by their twin flame you know they decided to be with somebody else and they don't want to rebuild anymore with their twin flame and that's a reason why this may not work out this is another blockage and the reason is with the four of wands you know their twin flame the one who cheated lied even though they experience this joy and happiness with their twin flame they are not receptive to it so what will happen to the one who cheated they ended up not having money they ended up losing their twin flame and they ended up being single or introvert not really feel like they are being distant to the world they're hermit they are grumpy because they didn't get the love of their life so anyway that is their karma, they say, for some of the one who backstab or put their twin in a third party. Because I really do feel here that the other twin who really got hurt, the angels just let it happen. That the twin who really got hurt really let go of this connection. And I have a feeling here that... This person that was hurt, they are just afraid to get hurt again by their twin. That's why they rather walk away. They rather be single forever not than be with their twin flame. And they're gonna be in search for the right partner. And I feel they're aware about their worth. That's why they're not gonna love their twin flame. And then with the Six of Swords being here. So I feel like the one who cheated on... Um, I do feel here that this person decided to come back to their twin flame, whether the other twin flame like it or not. Still, they will come back to reconcile. And so anyway, here is your charms, what we have here. And more. So, one other. So, anyway, here is her charms. So, for the charms, what we have here is that I do feel like losing is very hard for me. That's what I channeled, you know, 
I do feel here that both parties wanna say this to each other. Like, um, even the one who got cheated on lied to. They wanna say that losing you is hard, like it's very hard to recover. And that's a reason why they don't accept their twin flame back because they deeply hurt when this person played with their feelings. But now the one who cheated on lied to is wishing for their twin flame to come back. Because I don't really feel like they acknowledge the twin flame journey when they first met their twin flame. Because all that they have, there is a title, well for some of them could be the looks. Okay, and I feel like losing their twin flame is really heartbreaking for the one who cheated. Um, but that is their karma, you know. They missed out a good opportunity, a good loving person. And yeah, they missed that because they used their mind over their heart. They, they decided to sway ways, you know. And I do feel here that this connection will mend, to be honest. Because based on the outcome here, the twin flame who cheated, who lied, will come back always to the other person that they cheated on. So with this one, I feel like it will just happen all of a sudden without us expecting the reconciliation. So anyway... I don't know why I sense the word, will you marry me? <laughs> Alright. So anyway, the one who was hurt, obviously they are just busy on their work, to be honest. Well, the person who cheated, lied to, is dealing with a karmic person that is really toxic towards them. And I do feel here that, you know... The one that they left obviously is angry at their twin flame. Um, that's another blockage why reconciliation will not work because they will just collide, they will just fight. It's not what you call home anymore, it's what you call a battlefield. And that's the reason why the other twin flame is afraid to their twin because the twin is so angry. And even everyone was against this person because this person lied, this person cheated, and whatsoever. And this person was exposed of doing so and I really feel like there is really a harsh separation between the two twins if that happened and anyway that person who was stuck with the wrong person obviously is daydreaming of coming back to their twin flame and I do really feel here that they do want to reconcile um, because I see that when they dealt with their karmic, that is when they see the importance of this connection and they're aware that they cheated onto their twin flame. They made the twin flame believe that they're in love with a good person, whatever. They love to boast about it. And what happened is that they hurt this person's feelings and that person walked away just a different path and of the twin flame journey. So that's what happened. So let's check what else we have here. So we got a message in a bottle. So obviously there's gonna be a heartbreaking connection that's gonna happen. The angels say um, it's because their twin, the one who cheated on lied, realized the importance of this connection when they dated someone that didn't resonate with them, someone who didn't treat them right. They are mistreated in that connection and they do miss their twin flame. I feel like they're crying day and night thinking and thinking how to get back to their twin because I feel like, you know, they can deny the connection. They can't move on from it because, you know, they see you as a blessing and yet, you know, they're the one who created the chaos and conflict in this situation and their twin on the other hand is somebody whom they can rely on but then they just reject the offer and they know that they're immature during those times they're not really ready for the twin flame connection 
That's the reason why things didn't work out. But yet now I feel like the twin flame who denied the connection is hurting because they know that their twin doesn't like them anymore. They're not on the same page. Their twin will just deny them. And they're the one who is just obsessive with their connection. And I feel like they're sad. They also remember the one who they chose. They chose a partner who loves them because of the money, okay? And they're wearing a facade. I don't really feel like they are involved in a connection like this anymore. I feel like they left that connection and some of them decided to just let go, just be single forever. I feel like they're crying. I feel like they want their twin flame back or else they will be single forever. And that's the thing that I feel. So I feel like some of them might rush in because they are really afraid that their twin flame may marry someone else because it's been a long time, you know. And I do feel here that I don't know why I sense court case or court trial. Probably some of them already married the wrong person here. But I don't really feel like um they will be accepted most of them will be rejected by their own twin flame because they deny the connection because they don't want to get hurt anymore so unfortunately for the one who cheated lied um it's heartbreaking for them you know but it's really up to you guys if you're hurt if you will forgive and accept or you will just walk away and marry someone else you know um some of them you i feel like some will just decided to forgive but not be involved with this connection because this is very toxic too this is like a karmic twin flame connection and i don't really feel like it will work out though because some people are stuck with let's say the negative emotions of this connection so is there anything else they tell that's it so let's see about the other readings so let's see now about the collective of the masculine with regards to the twin flame journey so let's see angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's going on with the masculine during february 2021 what is the overall theme of this reading another they tell me so this is for twin flame collective so this is an easier way they tell this is an easier way to <laughs> Another. So some of them actually broke your heart or the heart of their feminine. So they want to show this. So I would just include that. Anyway, let's check what else we have here. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's going on to the masculine collective. On February 2021 in Twin Flame Journey. Another, they tell me. One more, they tell. I don't know why since they remain single. Probably they are backstabbers. Or they're afraid of losing you. That's why they decided to walk away. I don't know why I sense that. Could be they walk away from a karmic. I feel like they have dreams about their twin flame. Most masculines are being tested by the divine if ever they will wake up, change, and focus on their life purpose because most of them are distorted masculines who is not yet awakened was not aware how important the connection was 
so I feel like for some of them they run away and hide from the connection let's check with the tarot angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's going on with the collective masculines in February 2021 so I feel like this person is driven by economy or something to do with money and they're not really interested with their twin flame that's also what i get they're highly prideful and egotistical so i feel like um reputation do matters to them that but this wanna turn in reverse so i feel like some of them want to turn it upright and i feel like the divine is pushing them to be humbled if ever they have a high pride okay another because I feel like in this Twin Flame collective reading, even the masculines in the picture are being said that they need to do their life purpose task. Most masculine fail to do that. The angels say mostly it's the feminine who's doing the work. But we're going to clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards. So we may know. What's behind the cards presented here? Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. I do feel here that a lot of misfortunes has happened to a person who's prideful here in the picture. Most masculines are, the angels say, are kind of like this. Actually, I feel like most feminines are upset with their masculines because my left hand hurts as I shuffle the cards. But the masculines, I feel they are numb. I feel like for some of them, they are cheated on by somebody else. If they put their feminine to a third party situation, they never experience what true love is with other connections aside from their twin flame. Okay, so some masculines, obviously, everything that happened is not good, especially if they're prideful. If ever they're prideful, they're not in a good place right now. And they are hurting with this temperance in reverse emotionally because they didn't achieve anything. There could be a downfall in business. They could have lost their job. Somebody might have stolen their money. Well, I feel like they're holding a grudge towards somebody who took their money or because, you know, the career was taken away from them because they thought that they're going places. But no, they did not okay somebody betrayed them or some something had happened that that's the reason why they didn't achieve that greatness that they want so um i feel that every day is karma for them i don't know why i channeled that i feel like it only will happen if they really didn't do their mission work if ever they did something evil nasty by achieving something because i really do feel like um the masculine that i'm channeling they have a potential with this ace of wands as a light worker and i don't really feel like this kind of masculine is doing their task if ever that masculine is nasty evil whatever they are not listening to god that's what i'm sensing here they're living in materialistic world and that's why the divine destroyed it because they need to be humbled and they're not a loving person obviously and they're not really a good counterpart for their feminine since they don't know how to love they don't know how to um manifest the right connection they don't know how to love themselves how to treat the woman in a good way especially if they have um, a bad childhood um or they encounter women that are really 
not good towards them. And that's another reason why this twin flame journey is not working because whomever this masculine is, they really do have a tough exterior. And I feel like for some of them, they could have been taught not to be emotional. And that's the reason why they betrayed their twin flame. See, they stopped the connection here. And they even don't listen to the divine when the divine say, Hey, this is the partner that we sent to you. So they chose to walk away without thinking first. Okay. And I feel like losing this connection really strike them financially i feel like this is their karma the karma that strike on them obviously is in money matters so masculines collective they have money issues they could have their last their business whatever that they have before that makes them happy i feel like it's more money power reputation they lost it okay whatever that they're focusing on so i feel like what this is a reading about what is their karma to be honest so anyway this is the outcome so for an outcome i feel like that kind of bad experience has to happen to the masculine so that they will be awakened so that they will be humbled and they will finally learn how to listen to god rather than to their own perspective okay i feel here that they're also being shown that they're not ready to love yet because they don't know really how to love a feminine especially if they are taught to be heartless right because i do feel here yeah they are ice kings okay like this is how they treated their feminines which is really sad you know and that's the reason why the divine is preventing them to be with their divine counterpart because first of all they are called as eyes they don't know how to love and some of them are not even wanting a committed partnership since they are so arrogant while their feminine on the other hand is a loving person as you can see here and even if this feminine is not a burden to this man you know he has a tendency to judge this woman as somebody that is not the type. I want something that will enhance my reputation. This is what the other one is thinking. So he might reject the offer of the twin flame. And that's why sometimes reunion doesn't happen because the masculine needs to grow up or needs to listen to their heart. Um, but whether we like it or not, you know, um, this connection will still lingers in the heart, mind, body, and soul of this, you know, masculine. Okay, I feel like they're trying to get rid of the connection. They're trying to focus on work rather than in the connection. But I feel like in the end of the day, you know, they still remember their twin, no matter how much they try to ignore it. Okay. Um, let's see what else we have here. Next outcome is the four of wands. So obviously, if this person is again money driven, they didn't change at all. There's a reunion because this masculine is still somebody who's undecisive, they say, or they could be focused on work too much. Or it could be somebody that's not spiritual or not even your gun your type to be because they're not a loving person so sometimes being separation is a gift okay because you rather date someone else than date um, a toxic masculine so anyway let's see what else we have here this could be a cheater too so they could play mind games too and that's the reason why the divine is belittling this individual because they're so prideful. Another detail. So anyway, here is the charm. So for the charms that we have here, so this is describing the feminine versus the masculine. So the masculine is obviously focused on having this title, having a good reputation or status. And that is what they want but their twin flame mirrors what they should be focusing on okay i feel like it intrigues them because i do feel like 
But the twin flame can offer his unconditional love. They are loved by their twin, to be honest. And I do feel like the girl is more receptive in this picture, you know. That the wish here is being reunited. But then this masculine is running away from the connection because they really need to heal. They change... They need to change their programming of what they're called on to do because this masculine is called on to be somebody not emotional and their twin flame is triggering them to be emotional. I do feel like even though, let's say this masculine is playing hard to get whatever, they do have feelings for their twin flame and they're, they're just messing up with the mind games and then bullying and then being in a third party and I do feel like they do have commitment issues and I don't know if the feminine will stay and wait for the masculine but some of them could be waiting and yet the masculine is not receptive in the picture so let's check what else we have here so obviously the person, the masculine, mostly is always involved in this money thing, you know. And this is what they're fighting for. They want to be great at work, at everything, you know. And I feel like this person is caught up with family dynamic or the society's point of view. And that's the reason why they are not really open with regards to their feelings because that is what their family taught them to do. I feel like they do have a tendency to make their feminine sad, especially if they didn't contemplate about what they need to change, you know. And I feel like they might miss out an opportunity with their feminine if they keep on running away from this connection, avoiding the growth here. Because I do feel like they have been living this kind of life okay for a long period of time already and it just repeat and repeat that society matters reputation matters and they really need to cut them off from you know that society's point of view they need to find themselves to do their life purpose and this masculine are meant to be away from the crowd so that their guides will guide them so it's a long process actually for the masculines because honestly their twin flame could be trying to talk to this masculine that they should change whatever but the masculine is not listening they could be thinking like their perspective is always right and gonna lead them towards this green grass but in the end it lead them on to this drama okay and it's because they're not listening the angels say so what happened to them is that the experience will get the best of them so that they will be more wiser okay and i think that this person yeah for them reputation really do matter they always being watchful over what others will say to them and that's why in choosing a partner they want to make sure that it will help their reputation but they're not listening so what's gonna happen they do have a downfall with regards to their career so honestly the divine is waking their masculines up okay because the divine is tired of their drama tired of them being stuck in the society's point of view because i feel like they're not listening they're more listening to what they think okay that's what's happening here so i do feel like people see this masculine as someone whom has some money but it's only a facade here okay so this masculine could be thinking like you know the connection is over so i will love someone else or so i will focus on this and that and i don't really feel like they are at peace could be they're showing to people that they are at peace of where they are they're happy with their connection but yet to be honest the divine is trying to remove the masculine on the spotlight to make them feel like this from happy to sad so they can contemplate about their life because they're so prideful you know and 
if ever they have this kind of energy, obviously they can't accept their feminine. I'm reading this intuitively. So with that drive and building blocks, so I do feel here that the masculine is kind of blocking the connection. Obviously, because they have an issue, could be with their parents on how they grow or with the opposite sex and they, that is the thing that they need to fix. They must also realize that not all people are bad and they must also learn how to be vulnerable so they may accept this happy um, connection with their twin flame. So most masculines have really tough exterior and that's the reason why they have a tendency to hurt their feminine. And the divine is really hoping that the masculines will wake up. During February especially that they're looking for love because they cannot find love if they don't know how to love, if they don't know how to treat women the right way. Because they will just treat women as a trash or let's say as someone in bed if they don't know how to love you know if they are taught on to be always a dominant whatever right so is there anything else they tell that's it so anyway for the masculine i believe that it's very rare that they're wanting a commitment right now because if ever they did something nasty if they're prideful you know Karma hit them in career area. Alright, so is there anything else? So let's go on to another reading. Let's see about the Divine Feminine Collective. So let's check. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's going on with the Feminine on February 2021. Please show to us the overall theme of this reading. Thank you. Another. So, one more they tell. So, let's check. So, for some feminines, they're just busy um, with their work for some studies. They are trying to mend their broken heart with regards to the twin flame connection. They're trying to walk away because they have been hurt. They have been cheated by their masculine. So let's see. One more they tell me. Their masculine could be a liar, could be secretive, could be playing mind games. And that's the reason why their feminine is not interested anymore with their person because they don't want to dealt with somebody who is a karmic, who is toxic for them. And they now know what they want, so they decided not to chase after their twin flame. So they say their twin flame has the wrong person in their life and they don't really seem to care about the connection. But uh, sometimes they do remember the connection. It doesn't mean that they want a the person, but they are hurting about the connection. Some of them has grudged within. So let's check what else we have. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know about the feminine. What's going on with them during February 2021? Another they tell. So let's check. Some of them decided to be single during the pandemic because they know that it's not at a perfect time to find a lover. Actually, most feminines are more logical. They know that it's not a perfect time to make love. Especially that it's very dangerous during the pandemic season, so they are wise. Now, let's check with your... I feel like they see their masculine as a heartbreaker. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's going on with the feminine during February 2021. Another they tell. So let's check. I 
Anyway, so this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. And this is an easier way they tell me. So what is the outcome? So... I feel like they retreat from this connection. They see it as a karmic relationship, not actually their cup of tea. Gonna clarify angels and guides. Please provide guidance for the cards. So we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand another data. Please forgive the noise. There's construction going on outside cards <laughs> i feel like the feminine wants to run away from their masculine actually they don't want to talk to their masculine especially if they have been heartbroken another detail especially if their masculine is a manipulator or who is um i feel like more than secretly is into them but not saying anything you know they're annoyed so this is overall energy that's affecting the reading. So the feminine this time is not really that interested, to be honest. Could be in the past, they could have this kind of energy that they're passionate about the connection. They want it, but now, no. Why? Let's see why they have that kind of action. It's because they are like this. They are tired. They already gave up in this connection. So what happened here is that they're not chasing after their f masculine. They're more unhappy. They're upset with whatever their masculine have done to them because their masculine in their eyes is a burden. That's the reason why they're not that interested in the connection because all that this person did was to burden them. Okay. So what happened here? So the first card that we got is the Two of Swords. So this feminine already made up their decision to walk away from their person and choose someone else. But the masculine will hurt once that this feminine fell for somebody. Because if the masculine hurt this feminine so badly, of course, this is the good karma of the feminine. Because the feminine really do all the healing work, do whatever the divine say, and that's why they are aligning towards the right partner that they seek. And as I told you, they're not really interested with their masculine because with the moon being here, they already showed it that they're not interested. It's already over, it's already gone, and they walk away. I feel like for some of them, they hate their masculine. And with the moon being here again, so I feel like most masculine are not really aware that their feminine is not interested in the connection anymore, while some masculine still trying to work things out. Um, but yet, you know, the masculine really is the one who caused this pain and anger towards the feminine. So that's the reason why they are not interested with their masculine. Okay. Now, anyway, the next card that we got here is the sign of wands in reverse. So this person, the feminine, already gave up hope from their masculine because this masculine already did what they did right to break the connection and that's the reason why um the plans of this masculine whatever that they committed to this connection obviously resulted to a drama and this is what the feminine wants the four of wands but not with their masculine i really feel like the feminine here in the picture is deeply hurt 
because this masculine didn't do anything this masculine didn't cooperate this masculine didn't um, acknowledge the connection and actually it resulted to a lot of drama and pain to the feminine to the point that they're mad with the masculine and i feel like the masculine now is trying to get the attention of the feminine but the feminine already break it okay already let go of the connection and it's not committed with the masculine i don't know why i keep on sensing suicide i don't know why but could be some of them hurt the feminine to the point that they commit suicide for some okay that that happened especially if they're dealing with a player so anyway the angels say that the masculine who cheated who lied obviously are the one who's obsessive with their twin flame while the other the girl you know whom they love really walk away from them like the girl don't like the masculine anymore because all that their masculine did is put them in a third party you know try to distort their mind try to play mind games bully so what happened if ever that's what the masculine did the feminine really see the masculine as a bad person and that's the reason why if ever the masculine want to come back the feminine will just hurt the masculine because they don't like the masculine anymore so what is the outcome outcome is the feminine will have someone else and it will hurt their twin flame obviously because you know the feminine decided to run away after the terrible heartache that their divine masculine did to them because the masculine has this toxic vibe in them okay and then the text is the six of pentacles reverse so for the feminines the angels say they're not really planning anything to do with the masculine to be honest okay and they don't consider the masculine as one of their options because they're more focusing on with their career okay and most of them are actually busy at work some of them has a connection already some of them are just busy at work but you know the masculine is not their cup of tea since their masculine hurt them now let's see about the charms what we have here another so anyway here is the charms so for the charms what we got here is obviously that the feminines are tired of the mind games obviously and they are not really happy of what their masculine did so they already decided to block their masculine and move on and some are still healing from whatever their masculine have done for them because honestly this feminine you know really loved the masculine before because we see that here in the reading that before they're so pan um passionate with the connection but now it's over i feel like they're tired or sad even about the connection you know and they're just busy on their own on their work and they're manifesting the right partner and this time around they're gonna use their logic they're not gonna use their heart in finding the partner okay anyway so what we have here so yeah the feminine here is deeply hurt from whatever their masculine have did and some of them commit suicide already the angels say because they are deeply hurt now anyway i don't know why i really channeled somebody commit suicide and i feel like if ever suicide do happen and if you're masculine watching this and you know suicide happened you created a generational curse that's what they want to say and i feel here that the masculine has undecisiveness issues or some blockages that they need to fix and that's the reason why separation needs to happen okay yeah this feminine always remember how their masculine really broke their heart and now look at what happened to the feminine 
they're not protecting themselves from the masculine. And they decided to walk away and choose someone else. Because I really do feel here that their masculine really broke their heart. Could be this feminine loved their masculine so much, but the masculine didn't accept it, you know. And I have a feeling here that the feminines, on the other hand, will not dealt with any drama at all. They're tired of it and suddenly may throw chakra hurt. It's because they're not wanting to talk to their masculine. If ever they will talk to their masculine, it will just be fighting. <coughs> okay? I don't know why I blocked my throat chakra. Probably the divine is preventing them to speak to each other. Okay, because obviously, you know, this person, I feel like they see this person as a pervert or somebody that they don't really like. Okay, I feel like they don't want to be stuck with this twin flame journey anymore. They are tired. They see this connection as a toxic connection. So, the feminines are moving away from their masculines. That's what's gonna happen. So, let's see what else we have here. So, feminines lose hope with a connection and they decided to have a new life with somebody else. Away from the drama of their masculine, they are not passionate anymore with a connection because they're so give and take here and their masculine is playing mind games over them. So, either they decided to be single or be with someone new. And they thought that this masculine is somebody who don't listen to the divine. This is how they see it. And they're the only one who gives love and support to their masculine. But their masculine is a liar. They don't admit how they feel. They keep it to themselves. So what the feminine do, they don't see the masculine as their home. They rather choose someone else in the present moment. And I don't really feel like um, they are interested with the connection because even if it's there, they're walking away. They're trying to mend the connection, whatever that this person did to them. And they're just busy with their work rather than focus on the drama. So most feminines gave up on the connection. Because their masculines are not changing, because their masculines are not receptive. So, I feel like within February, um, reunion is very hard to tell because most feminine and even masculine, they're kind of denying the connection. Especially the feminine, especially if they are heartbroken over the masculine. So, is there anything else? They tell though the masculine wants to apologize. I don't really feel like that feminine will be somebody who's receptive. They rather love someone else. That's what I channeled too. Is there anything else? They tell that's it. So anyway, thank you for watching those who chose these readings okay I don't know why I say that because honestly speaking I feel like the masculine are very terrible. That's also what I channeled. Could be the one that I channeled here as a feminine is upset with the masculine. Okay, is there anything else? They tell that's it. So anyway, thank you for watching and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye.